Hey dudes, it has been a hot minute. Um, yeah. I am not vibing so much with the whole uh, coronavirus going on, so I decided to be a weirdo. I'm joking. I'm tired. It's like one in the morning right now. I kept a diary for the past couple days. Um, long story short, my school is canceled from March 12th to May 1st, and it is currently March 20th, and I am dying. <laughs> I'm a very extroverted person. I have not left my house in seven days. I am struggling. Um, so we're going to read my quarantine diary. It is a pretty great time. Um, it starts on the 16th, which was Monday, um, because that's when, uh, technically quarantine for my school started, so, um, also for background, um, I live in a town where there has been a fairly large coronavirus outbreak because we have a really good hospital and a lot of corona people came here, so we do be vibing though. Okay, um, 16th of March, 2020, quarantine day one. Um, today I went over to Austin's house to do a read-through for Project 66. Project 66 is a theater thing we do at our school. Um, it's an audition in one-act play that the seniors, uh, get to direct. So, I'm in one about zombies and it's now cancelled. Um, a lot of the cast wasn't there, wasn't able to make it because of COVID-19. But we may do with FaceTime or whatever. Hanging out with the cast was stupidly fun. And I say that because we were just chilling in Austin's living room. Annoying the living daylights out of his little brother. A little brother. He's a year younger than me. And just eating snacks and talking about zombies and all that stuff. Um, the freshmen were terrified to talk out of turn. Uh, and for some reason I found that really humorous. I don't know if you've ever been in an event that has like all four grades, but like freshmen do not talk like ever. We're just like, we're, I'm not a freshman. We're just like so terrified to fuck up um, what little bit of like credit they have. So they just don't talk and they don't mess anything up. And I find it so adorable. Oh my God. Um, Nate and Morgan were trying to murder each other um, with badly formed sentences. So I guess... Nothing's really changed since middle school. Um, I've known Nate and Morgan um, for like three years now, and they're really cool people, and they are the best friends I've ever seen in my life, and they will sit there and yell at each other for fun. Um, Morgan was wearing like a Yankees hat, and this whole conversation was over the fact that she doesn't know anything about baseball, and Nate was screaming at her that she was a fake fan, and it was so dumb, and I really enjoyed it. Um... John seems cool, though he and I haven't spoken yet. John's another cast member. Austin was a scatterbrained nutball, as usual. That is the nicest way to describe him. I love Austin with all my heart, but, like, Owen was really nice and drove me home because my mom fell asleep. We talked a bit on the way home. He's a super cool guy. That is also very true. He is our stage manager. Owen is just the absolute G. He is super cool. Um, And we just talked about the fact that Austin wants... Uh, hit me with a lot of doors while he was working backstage for a production I was in. Um, I'm really excited to play with these guys because they seem like they're going to be a really fun and accepting group of people. At least I hope so that the next two months are going to be really awkward considering school is canceled and we still have to practice together until we hopefully perform it this summer. Um, it was supposed to happen in April and it got moved. So if the world is not on complete lockdown, um, we'll see. Um, we're going to move on just to the 17th of March, so Tuesday. Um, so for people who don't know, extroverted people get their energy from being around other people and being in social gatherings. So being on intense lockdown is really hard. I live in a house of three people. Um, we do as much as we can to like stay out of each other's way while still being social, but it's like really hard because... Um, my family is fairly introverted and likes alone time, and I'm not, and I can't leave my house, so. Um, I did basically nothing today. I made another batch of cookies, um, and I planned on making cream puffs, but I got 
wrapped into watching the first Iron Man movie, so that didn't happen. I learned how to make French cookies. I don't know if you know what macrons are, They're like the little pastel like puffed kind of cookies. They're really good. I really enjoy baking them. Um, they only take like an hour and a half to make. So I will make like four batches a day if I, I stress bake. I stress bake. I am so stressed right now. So I've made so, so many batches of freaking cookies in the past week. It's like honestly outrageous. And then my sister stress eats. So perfect, perfect harmony. Um, and then I was watching Iron Man because I decided that is my life goal to watch all of the um, Marvel movies. I did have to watch Iron Man 2 and 3, um, Incredible Hulk, and then I think maybe Captain America Winter Soldier. I've seen all the other ones. Yeah. Um, I think I've seen Winter Soldier, actually. I think I just have to refresh it. I think it's been a couple years. Either way. Um, I don't know. Today was just a pretty rough day. I was really sad, and I think kind of out of it. I really miss my friends, and I don't think I can stay in isolation for super long. That's true. Um, I'm not vibing. Vibing is not something I'm good at, and I am vibing even less now, so that's great. Um, I was talking to Evan, and we talked some stuff out because I was feeling not so hot. Um, on a side, separate note that I was also talking about here, I really want to dye my hair. Um, I love, I dye my hair like every year. Um, <laughs> um, I like to dye my hair, uh, like every year, uh, after show choir and dance is over. Well, that got canceled, so I can dye it whenever I want. The only problem is that I have to order it, and I want to dye my hair blue, but I dyed my hair red and then brown, so my hair is very orange right now. Um, there's no real way to fix that besides dye it blue. Um, but Arctic Fox dye is kind of expensive, so uh, we'll see about that, dogs. But I really want to dye my hair because my friend said she would come over and help me. Um, online school starts tomorrow, uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, actually, I say tomorrow. It was yesterday. Um, um, so that is pretty fun. Um, online school sucks. Uh, I don't know how people like actually do this. This is the most. I literally woke up Wednesday, forty-seven emails, and I only take ten classes. And I'm so stressed out. Oh my god! And just like remove one of those classes because we didn't. I'm sorry, we didn't get an online thing for show choir. But like, I have an online choir class, online theater, online fashion, um, math, English, science, French. What other class am I taking? Choir, show choir, fashion. I'm taking something else. I don't really remember. Um, so that'll be a fun, a fun time. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do so well in online class. Can't wait for this whole quarantine thing to be over because I have the rest of my life to be alone, and now's not currently the time. I was on some weird shit when I was writing that and by weird shit I mean two in the morning blues um I don't think the quarantine thing is gonna get over very soon um I was saying mm, on like like a real real note that um a lot of people apparently don't seem to be talking about especially in the United States is that um it's not gonna get better for a long time um You'll see posts about high school kids, high school seniors, complaining about missing prom and sports being canceled and then missing crucial parts of their life. And I get that. I really, really do. Um, so many of my friends are missing out on things they've been preparing for and spending money on for months and they can't do it. You know, 12 years of education, just like not even to get a diploma or walk across the stage. But um, when it comes down to it, the coronavirus isn't a joke. And there are people dying, and a lot of people are just, like, completely skipping past that because they're like, oh, it can't happen to me, but it can. Um, kids, teenagers with pre-existing health issues, lung problems, asthma, um, you know, a good chunk of the teenagers have nicotine addictions that damages your lungs. If your lungs are at a lower capacity, you're at a greater risk for the coronavirus. So just because you might have a good immune system does not mean you're going to get through. 
And just because you're not going to get sick does not mean you're not a transmitter. Just because you think that you're invincible does not mean somebody else is. And I think that we're just discovering that so many people in our country are so selfish all the time. Oh my god. They are just selfish, selfish human beings. And that's really, really sad. Um, because if they can't even think to take care of like their grandparents, then what's going to happen if they have kids or something like that? I don't know. But it's not a joke. Um, and I think um, as Europe goes on more and more lockdown, we're kind of realizing it more. Um, and then on top of all that, China was just starting to like have their curve flatten out. And then um, they got an outbreak of bird flu, which if you don't know, bird flu is like a pretty contagious, deadly disease that's spread through diseased and sick birds. So um, even if corona goes away eventually, it will, but like, will it not soon? Um, we might have to stay on lockdown a lot longer than we think, and we will see, honestly, because... It's just one of those times when you realize that our countries are woefully unprepared for this because they didn't think. And, um, I don't know. We have to stop relying on other countries to get everything because we, we just, like, expect them to be up and running all the time, and that's not possible. We have to go back to our roots and do what our grandparents did. We have to learn to grow and store food or we're going to have problems like this. And above all, we have to like think about other people. We can't stockpile all the food just because you want it, just because you want to stay safe. And you'll see this problem a lot with toilet paper now. You can't just, there are people who are, don't have the luxury of stockpiling. They just need the bare necessities and they're not getting it because they're idiots who think that they deserve all of it just because they can, you know, that's really sad. Um, but it really sucks. This whole situation sucks. Um, I know I've been gone for a really long time. Um, so I'm gonna maybe try and make more videos to keep me from going absolutely insane with online school. And yeah, until then, I'm Bean. I will see you dudes at some point.